Yeah, so hi, Dave Hill here, and we're at what, AES 139, New York, kind of cold outside, colder at home, but we have a couple things that have been taking place, new, new stuff basically. There's a new standalone DA that also does USB input, so you can just plug it into the computer and go, but it also has AES optical and SPDIF, uh, inter internal gain selection, you know. Well, headphone gain and a main output gain. There's also a secondary output on it. And all functionality is show, shown basically, you know, on an LCD display. But it's a newly developed DA converter with sub-picosecond jitter, uh, improved filters using the latest AKM parts and a couple other tricks involved with it. And that DA has also been transplanted into Avocet, so it's now... Uh, version 2A, and we're calling this con series of converter quantum converters or quantum DA converters. And th there's two additional things that have been added to Avocet with that, that now all three speaker outputs have direct subwoofer outputs, and we also it used to have to have a pad if you needed to s do speaker gain matching, but now you can select in the speaker setup and <coughs> And they have a programmable pad to adjust each of the three outputs relative to each other uh, in quarter dB steps, so you can match your speaker systems very accurately. You know, so so the adding the direct subwoofer outputs and the programmable pad makes it Avocet 2A, and the quantum converter is actually upgradable into all the older versions. So. Anybody who wants to upgrade to the newer converter, it's possible to do that. You know, the other stuff, the programmable pad and things, nah, that, that's not going to upgrade just the converter. And, you know, and sonically, the converter really is. It's a lot more three-dimensional. The low mid-range is a lot cleaner. The transient response is a lot better. You know, it, it's, it's a whole new world.